to the hourglass guide. I really hope you enjoyed the first session. I know it was a little bit intense. My hamstrings, I didn't really feel it at the time. And then the day after, aka yesterday, my body was like, what have you done to me? In a good way, it feels great. Anyway, we are gonna get started with our second 30 minute workout as part of this series. And this one is all about the abs, the waist, and the shoulders. So tiny, powering through, we're We don't really have much back, but we're doing shoulders and a little bit of arms. So this is all about helping to create the illusion of an hourglass physique. So we've got to work into the shoulders, strengthen up those shoulders, work into the waist, which we're going to be doing today. So we're going to be doing a lot of deep core activation. We're going to be avoiding too much oblique work because that can actually thicken the waist. Without further ado, let's get going. Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you are doing this guide. It supports my channel way more than you can ever imagine. My goal is to grow this channel, grow this community together, and please also give this video a thumbs up. It really supports me, more than you guys know. Okay, you need to grab a set of dumbbells. If you haven't got dumbbells as per, don't worry, just grab water bottles or anything you've got in the house. I've got a three kg set, but I've also got a two kg set if I need it for some of the exercises. Three circuits, they are nine minutes each and that allows time for a warm up and a cool down. Okay guys, so we're just starting off by warming up the shoulders, the upper back, just with a few shoulder rolls back. I'd love to know how you guys are feeling, particularly after yesterday's session. I shouldn't say yesterday, the session for the day before, because my legs, really feeling it. Okay, reversing, coming forward for me, pulling that core in tight at all times, engaging those stomach muscles, okay? And then from there, we're gonna take one arm across the body, just hold it for a couple of seconds, and then we're gonna move onto the other side. Good work. One more each side. Amazing. And again. Good, so you're now gonna place your hands on your shoulder, and you're just gonna do, make sure I'm not hitting anything behind me, some nice circles round. This is what I used to do before I went swimming training. Sorry, you can hear Teddy in the background. He's upstairs today. And we're gonna come forward now. For anyone with shoulder problems, please, please make sure you're warming up the shoulders before you get going. Okay, onto the other side. Good work, guys. We're only doing four of these. That's two, two to go. Teddy! Good work, and reverse, we're coming forward. Four. I don't know if you can hear him, but he's barking upstairs. <laughs> two left, two, and one. Amazing, then one hand over the other, and we're just gonna rotate side to side, mainly for the upper back, a little bit for the waist as well. Good work. Okay, we're going into the first exercise, guys. The timer has started. We're gonna start off with a lateral raise, 45 degree angle, slow and controlled on the way down, Breath out on the way up. Lower to three, two, one, and up. Keeping that core really nice and tight. Don't allow that ribcage to flare and swing yourself up, okay? Really controlled with the movements. Core tight, ribcage down, breathing control. Three, two, one, and up. Good work, we're over halfway. Two, one, and up. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds recovery as per. Really, really working into the muscles, okay? And we are done, amazing. 15 seconds recovery, guys. Just gonna turn this beeper on so you can hear, okay? Five seconds left of recovery. You just need one of these. We're gonna go with our steering wheel, lift the arms up. Good, we're gonna turn for four. Three, two, one, and down. Lift, turn, four, three, Two, one, and down. Good work. Four, three, two, one. As per, squeezing the butt, pulling that core in nice and tight. Four, three, two, one, and down. We're coming up to halfway. Keep that chest proud and open. Really working into those shoulders. We're over halfway. Amazing work, guys. You're doing so well. 10 seconds left. Focus, you can do it, five seconds, two, and one, amazing. 
Chase those shoulders out, okay? Next one, we are going with a lateral raise, but this time out to the side. So last time we did it to a 45 degree angle. If you want to make it a little bit easier, bend the arms slightly, okay? Let's go. Out to the side. Three, two, one, and lower. It's much harder in this position, you will notice, okay? Come on. Three, two, one, and lower my arms. I'm really already feeling the burn, so I'm hoping yours are as well. Come on, we can do it. Two, one, and lower. We're over halfway. Three, two, one, slow and controlled. Makes it so much harder. Two, one, 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Last five seconds, we can do it. Three, two, one. Woo! Okay, relax those shoulders. We're now going into core, okay? So I'm gonna get you to grab just one weight only. You're gonna pop the weight in between your knees, your shins, okay? We're up in double leg tabletop and we're gonna go for hundreds. Those of you guys who have worked out with me before, you know just how much I love hundreds because it works. High in that crunch, eye gaze forward, breathing, breath in, two, three, four, five, breath out, two, three, four, five, breath in, two, three, four, five, breath out. Good, keep that breathing control going. Anyone wanting to make it harder, you can straighten the legs out. Sorry, this is my bad knee, so I can't properly straighten, but otherwise keep them bent. But if you want to straighten both legs out, Make it harder, challenge yourself. 10 seconds left. We can do it, guys. All the way through, all the way. Two, one, woo! Keep a hold of that weight and grab the other one that goes with it. We're gonna go with a roll back now, okay? 15 second recovery. We're into the last five seconds. Legs are straight out in front of us. Holding the weight in towards our chest. We're gonna roll back to our biting point. And we're going to mini pulsate up for 10, 9, good, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, all the way up, relax, back down we go, okay, we can do it. I cannot wait to see, to hear the results in all of our bodies with this, okay, it's just 6 30 minute sessions with me but trust me, it can make such a difference. Up we come, good, and back down again. All the way to the end, five seconds left. One, woo, okay, one more core exercise. Okay, this time we're gonna come down onto our forearms, okay, and from there we're gonna come up into double leg tabletop like so. We're gonna straighten one leg out and draw it back in again, let's go and in. Now you'll notice I'm not doing too much in the way of twisting exercises. That is just because the twisting exercises are really gonna work into the obliques and we're trying to avoid the obliques. Keep going for me guys. The obliques are these muscles down the side of your body. So they create a really nice sexy shape into the waist but they can actually thicken the waist. So I try to avoid them as much as possible when it comes to, I guess, sculpting an hourglass shape. But at the same time, I do train them a fair bit because it's so important to strengthen the obliques for way more than what your body just looks like. Okay, five seconds left. Two, one, woo! Okay, coming back onto the knees, okay? I want you to grab the heavier weights now. Sorry, the lighter weights, not the heavier. If you've just got the one set of weights, do not worry, you can drop down to just hands, okay? We're coming out to 45 degrees, I want you to hold to start off with, okay? Woo, we can do it. This is exercise number seven of nine of that first circuit, okay? We've got this, we've so got this. Once we get to halfway, we're gonna add some twists in, which is coming up in five, in four, in three, in two, turn the palms up, and down, up and down. If you're struggling, get rid of the weights. Just go with the hands, looks like nothing, but trust me, after a while, it really burns. As I said to you guys before, my workouts are for everyone. Just drop down slightly in the intensity if you need to. One, 
done, amazing. We are going for another set now of those shoulder rotations, okay? So I want you to grab the heavier weight. Two minutes of work left, that is all. We're going in five seconds. Set those shoulders. Up we come. Okay, let's twist. Going all the way to eight this time. Six, seven, eight. Down and up. Let's go again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And down. Amazing. Good work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down and back up again. Woo! Nearly there, guys. So nearly there. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Whew. 10 seconds left. Come on, let's really work these shoulders. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, one. Woo! Amazing, guys. Okay, grab your lighter weight. We're going to go with those lateral raises again, okay? Doesn't matter which weight you have, just push through. One minute of work left, okay? We're going in three seconds. So it's this one where we come out. Okay, up we come. Three, two, one. We don't go all the way down this time. We come back up. Three, two, one. Not all the way down. Up. Three, two, one. Good work. Three, two, one. Again, if you have to, drop the weights, okay? It still works. Two, one, up. Do not come all the way down. Two, one. Up, come on, keep Two, one. I do not know what just happened there, guys. <laughs> At least you know that I'm real with my workouts. Music just came out of nowhere. Okay, five seconds left. Three, two, one. Woo! That is circuit number one complete. Bring yourself straight down, guys, because this circuit is going to be pretty much pure abs, okay? So down onto the mat. You don't need a weight for this exercise. We're going in three, in two, mini ab crunches. Let's go. So you want that eye gaze forward. We've got nine minutes of abs, okay? Nice and intense. We're going to get results. You guys know me. It's a pure ab circuit. Okay. Okay, we're halfway, we're now going to come up, and this time we're going to roll back and we're going to crunch up from here. Tiny mini crunches, breathing out as you come up. If you need the hands behind you, you can, okay? Got just over 10 seconds left. I really want to feel my abs burning after this. I'm a woman on a mission. Three seconds, two, one. Woo! Okay, stay up for me now, guys, okay? 15 seconds recovery. Oh, enjoy it. We're now gonna come back into boat hold, okay? We're going in five, in four, in three. Roll back to your biting point, legs up, and we're gonna hold. 45 seconds holding like this. By the way, is hard, particularly when your legs are sore, okay? But we've so got this, do not give up. We're gonna change it up once we get to halfway, holding nice and strong. Breathing, relaxing the shoulders, coming up to halfway. Good work. Okay, we're now gonna straighten the legs, back in. Place the arms behind you if you want to for this one, okay? But just gently rest them. Really working those abs, just 10 seconds left. Amazing work, guys. Good. This is number two of nine. Okay, down onto the mat for me, okay? We're gonna go with dead bugs next. Those of you who know me will know how much I love this exercise. If you follow me on Instagram, it's one of my faves. Both legs up, right hand on left shin, straightening out the opposite arm to leg. So you're aiming if you can for a straight leg as you do this, but you'll notice my right knee can't quite straighten, so please ignore that. Anyone a slightly lower level, you can go single leg. Everyone else keep going. If you're going single leg, I just want you here but supporting the head, okay? I'm gonna tell you when to change sides if you're on single leg. Everyone else, we're here. Single legs, change sides. We're nearly there now. This is number three of nine. Five seconds. Two, one. Woo! 
Woo! That is number three of nine complete. Toe reaches next, okay? So the legs are gonna be up to the sky and we are reaching for the toes. We're going in five seconds. Anyone who struggles with this one, just slide the hands up to the knees, okay? Let's go. Keeping this movement controlled. And as I said, if you struggle, just pop the, uh, not the knees, the feet down. Can't get my words out. And reach, if you can, towards the knee, supporting the head if you have to, okay? All the way through, the goal is to feel that core, to feel that burn. Good work. Come on, you can do it. All the way, nearly there. Come on, keep pushing for me. Do not give up. Two, one, woo, okay. Breathe, relax. We're going with another set of hundreds, this time without the weight. There's no weight in this middle circuit. Please excuse all the messages coming through, guys. I'm turning off my Wi-Fi. Let's go. Breathing in for five and breathing out for five. Keeping really high in that crunch. Supporting the head if you need to, okay? You can do it. We're nearly halfway through this circuit. Keeping that eye gaze forward. And if you can, keeping the lower back flat, okay? Drop the knees down, the feet down. Why do I keep saying knees? Drop the feet down if you want to. Straighten the legs out if you want to make it harder, okay? You choose your level. Stay high in that crunch, even higher if you can for the last 10 seconds. Can anyone straighten their legs out? Good work. Five, four, three, two, Woo! Amazing! Come on up into sitting, guys. Lengthen those legs along the mat, okay? We're gonna roll back to our biting point in just a second. Sitting on the butt bones, okay, nice and upright. Roll back towards your biting point. Hold there, you should really be feeling the core. This is number six of nine. Work that core, feel that core. Feel the burn, if it feels too easy, go down a little bit more. Okay, we're gonna hover the left leg. We're gonna pump up for eight, seven, four, three, two, and one. Hold, and change sides. Six, got it, burns. Bring the arms down behind you if you need to. If not, stay here. Four, three, two, and one. Go back a little lower for the last five seconds. Come on, feel that burn, feel that burn. A little lower, two, one, Woo! Okay, that is six of nine complete. 15 seconds recovery. Reach those arms up and over the head. Breathe in out, okay? Well done, guys. We're now gonna come up into a crunch and we're gonna reach to the left ankle and back. So this is working into the obliques. So remember I said I don't tend to do too many oblique exercises. This is just one in the nine exercises. Sizes, okay, so make it worthwhile, high in that crunch, squeeze as far as you can, we're doing half on each side, good work, changing sides, let's go, so you want to be nice and high in that crunch, then you're reaching to the side, really squeezing those side muscles, just two exercises left after this, Two, one, woo! Okay, you're gonna straighten out the right leg. The left leg's gonna stay bent and the left arm's out to the side. Sounds more complicated than it is. Feels a little bit awkward, but it will make sense in a second. Right fingertips by your temples. Okay, you're gonna crunch in and straighten. Straighten. Good, half each side. So we're getting a little bit of obliques here because we're crunching on an angle, but we're also getting those deep, deep core muscles. Keeping that lower back as flat as you can, really pulling the core in. Two more, and one. Okay, changing sides for me. Straightening one leg out, bending the other. Let's go. Good work. Crunching in, working that core. So your lower back might arch a little bit, totally normal but you want to make sure that you're aiming to flatten it 
Woo! Okay, up into sitting. Last exercise is going to be a boat hold before we go into circuit number three. Mainly arms, some abs, okay? Five seconds left. You guys know what the boat hold is. We've done it already. Okay, we're going to roll back to our biting point, okay? We're going to hold. We're going to turn the palms either in or up. Relax the shoulders. In a second, we're going to bring the legs up. This is our last exercise in this circuit. Two, one, legs come up, okay? We're holding now, the last 30 seconds is here. If you want to place the hands down, if you want to still come down onto the forearms, this is your workout, okay? It's up to you what level you want to do. We've got this together though, squad. I'm so proud of you. Please drop a comment down below afterwards. Let me know how you get on. If you can, for the last 10 seconds, aim to straighten. Oh, this leg is sore. Five, four, three, Woo! Okay, that is circuit number two complete. We're going straight into circuit three. Grab your weights up onto your knees. Okay, ladies, circuit number three, final circuit. Grab your light weights. We're going to be going in on the shoulders, a little bit of core. Okay, are we ready? Up towards your chin. We're going to be punching side to side. We've already started, okay? Keeping the movements really sharp. We are actually going a little bit faster with this movement, but you're aiming to punch in line with your jaw. So you want to be seeing it in front of you. If you're down here, we're not really working the shoulders, okay? So nice and high, snapping that weight back towards you. We've got just over 20 seconds left, and we're rotating the weight, okay? <sighs> Breathing. Oh yeah, that burn, that gradual burn. It starts off okay, and then you're like, oh Lil, it's burning now. Two, one, woo, 15 seconds recovery. Shake those shoulders out. We're gonna be, I've got a little bit of a stitch, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna be coming out to the 45 degrees and turning again like we did before, okay? Save the energy, two, one, lift up. Okay, we're turning for 10, nine, eight, core tight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, come down just short of the whole way. Ten, nine, eight, seven. I'm really burning your shoulders, aren't I? We've got this. Four, three, two, one, just short of the whole way. Then we're keeping the tension on. Eight, seven, six, five, good. Four, three, two, we can fit in one more round. Up we come. Eight, Seven, six, it burns. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Amazing. I want you to grab your heavier weights. Now, if you've got them, we're going to do a little bit of bicep work, okay? Keeping the elbows in nice and tight towards the sides of your body. We're going to come on up, and then we're going to do a W shape as we come round, all right? We've started. Chest open, so we don't want to round through the shoulders. Shoulder blades back and down, core tight, focusing, <sighs> breathing. I've got that sweaty upper lip again. It's crazy how tiny movements really, we've barely done any cardio today, we're just conditioning and it really can get you sweating. We're going for strength endurance here. I've also got studio lights on me, so I'm definitely feeling, feeling the sweat. Please excuse the glow. We've got this guys, 10 seconds. Woo! Good work, amazing. Two, one, Woo. okay, that is three down. We're gonna sandwich those three exercises now with two core exercises, okay? So coming on down into lying, you're gonna straighten out the left leg, keep the right one bent. We're reaching for the toes. Good work, amazing. If you struggle with that, bend the knee, okay? Absolutely fine. We're doing 20 seconds each side, or just over 20 seconds. Don't give up. Good. Okay, changing sides for me. I'm gonna go bent leg this way, just because of my knee, but if you can, try the straight leg, okay? I cannot wait for my knee to be fully recovered. But I'm not gonna lie, it's so much better. And the question is, 
Will I ever ski again? Who knows? <laughs> okay, you're gonna open the legs out now, okay? And I want you to grab one of your weights. The weight comes over the head, and we're gonna come up into a frog sit up. Two, one, reaching up. If you can come all the way up, amazing. Use that little bit of momentum, but if you struggle, just go as high as you can. <sighs> Using that breathing control. This is your workout. So we're working arms as well as core here. Good work. Good. Try and keep those arms out straight on the way down because then we're really working the shoulders as well. This is exercise number five of nine, okay? Good. Keep pushing. Just five seconds left, guys. I'm so proud of you. Two. One, woo! Okay, straight up into sitting. 15 seconds recovery. We are going for lateral raises again. Do you know what? I'm gonna go with a heavier weight. Why not, hey? Let's make it worthwhile. 45 degree angles, shoulders set. Coming up, slowly down. Two, one, not the whole way. Three, two, one. Three, two, one, good work, two, one, Woo. three, two, number six of nine this is, come on, don't give up, three, two, one, slow and controlled on the way down, do not give up, just over 10 seconds left, we can do it, one, three, two, one, come on, one more, three, two, one, Woo. okay, well done guys. We're going with tricep dips now, okay? So we're gonna place the weight behind our head. I put this kind of grip on the dumbbell, which is what I recommend, okay? Keeps it nice and stable. Rib cage down, core tight. We're coming up and slowly down. Slowly down. Good work. We're so getting there. This is number seven of nine. Just two left afterwards. Good work. Amazing, guys. Don't give up on me. Keep that core nice and tight. Keep working those arms. We have got this. 15 seconds left. My sweat is real, it's yours. Not gonna lie. I'm feeling that sweat. Five seconds, come on. We can do it. Two, one, woo! Okay, last one. I'm actually gonna go with the lighter ones because this is the lateral hold out to the side. I personally think this is the hardest. I'm feeling that pump, okay? Grab your weights. One, let's go. We're just gonna hold. And we're gonna hold for 10 seconds. We're gonna hold really nice and strong. As I said, if you need to, arms out and hold, okay? I'm gonna keep going with that weight. Two, one, come halfway down. Back up again, 10 seconds. Oh, my arms are shaking. And do you know what? I said to Alex just the other day, I really, really wanna work on my shoulders at the moment. So this is great for me as well as you guys. Two, one, halfway down only. Okay, we're gonna see it through to the end. 11 seconds. Come on, we can do it. Ooh, five seconds, a little bit higher, a little bit higher. Two, one, Woo. last exercise, okay? Grab the heavier weights if you can. We're doing a sit up into a double punch, okay? Jabs and hook. Grab the weights, let's go. Sit up, one, two. That's not a hook, is it? So jab and punch. Sorry for all the boxers out there watching. Or joining in, I should say. This is the finisher. Come on, last exercise. Good work. Just over 20 seconds left. Use that breathing control. Come on, just over 10 seconds left. Good work. Now hold those arms out in front of you. 
for three, for two. Woo! Oh my gosh, 30 minutes, we made it. I just want you guys to do a few stretches, but wow, 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 wow. I really, really felt that. I'm gonna try and come back. Oh, no, that's a bit too uncomfortable, many. Okay, bringing the arm across the body like we did before, but this time we're holding for longer. Okay, pulling in nice and tight. Really getting that stretch across the shoulder. Good work, and we're gonna change sides. How did you find it? I would love to hear from you guys. Please do drop a comment down below, ladies. Getting your feedback means so much, particularly ahead of the next workout. Okay, oh, wow, tight here. Into this stretch. Good work, and changing arms. Ooh, did not realize how tight that was. Amazing, I love that burn though, I literally love it. Okay, upper back, we didn't really work the upper back too much, but it's so well connected. Good, and then coming into the chest. Breathing. Girls, I am so proud of you. You made it through yet another workout. I can't quite go all the way down because of my knee. I'm just gonna come. There we go. We are in this together. I'm certainly on my way back to trying to achieve the fitness level that I had pre-injury, back basically when I was filming the 30 day challenge for you lot. So I'm so happy you're down. So I'm so happy you're joining me on this journey. I really hope you enjoyed this. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to, if you liked it, I really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button, I will see you in two days time. All right guys, 